Hello, I'm Ryan from Ooze Nest, and today we'll do part three of a log face making video. In part one, we chose out a log and surfaced it and got it ready for machining. In part two, we set up the cam program and done the rough cut. And now in part three, we're gonna do the finishing cut and apply some finishing touches to the log to make it a product worthy of your home. So, the first thing we need to do is change this bit to a ball nose ready for the finishing cut. Just need to make sure I've got enough travel on this. So I'm gonna line up to where I marked the other end wheel. That looks about right. Do this up. Right. End wheel now changed. So with the bit now changed to a ball end bit, what we need to do is re Z0 the work position. As we've changed the bit, we can't get the bit exactly in the same position relative to Dewalt, so if we just re-zero to the spoiler board using a touch probe, we then know the work zero in the exact same position as when we did the roughly cut. So get on and do that now. So, we've now got the bit changed, the work zero reset for this cutting bit. All we need to do now is turn the Dewalt on, send the file and get this finishing cut done. So the finishing cut is now complete. On the first finishing cut, it still left some bark on this left hand side. So what I did, I took our um, end mill over to that pilot hole with Jordan part two. Then lower down the end mill and set the zero as minus one mil below the spoiler board surface. And that had the effect of dropping down the whole model by one mil. And I did the finishing pass again. That's mostly taking that bark on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do now is unclamp the log and then do some processes to finish up the product. So we need to cut the base square so when it sits on the table it sits nice and flat. So I'm just going to line it up straight with the blade. Now we have cut the base, the final finishing process we need to do is apply some oil. This will really bring out the contours in the face and make it pop in the light. What we're using is just a clear furniture oil with a cloth and just rubbing it using one finger and trying to get it in all the grooves and also be careful to avoid the bark areas as it will show up as dark spots. So as you can see our log face is now complete. In this video we have done the finishing profile chopped off the bottom to make it nice and flat and applied some oil finish. What I've decided to do here is hang it outside our workshop so it's a nice little entrance item when people come down to see our machines. I hope you found this part series enjoyable to watch. I definitely think we're going to do more of these in the future so please subscribe to our channel and like the video.